So today we're going to be upgrading the RAM on an Alienware M14X um, R1. This one's the Core i5. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. The Core i5 uh, version has 4 gigs of RAM, uh, 500 gig of hard drive, and so on. We're going to put an 8 gig stick in there. Show you which one it is here. It's uh, 8 gig, cheap as I can find. It was 45 bucks, um, which is okay. The reason I went this way is because um, that's all the budget will allow right now, and um, eventually I'm going to put another 8 gig in there, making it 16 gig. So I didn't get the two 4 gigs uh, kit because that way I have the option to make a 16 gig without wasting the RAM. So this is what we're going to use. This process on these laptops literally takes like 5 minutes. So let's get started. I'm just going to shut this thing down. I was also going to upgrade uh, the hard drive to uh, SSD, but uh, at the moment I'm not, I don't need it. I'm going to be doing it at a later date, so uh, I'm going to shut this down now. Okay, so we're going to turn the computer upside down, obviously. Now, like I said earlier, this is one of the easiest laptops to upgrade the RAM on. Literally two screws at the back here. That's all you got to remove. One on the right, one on the left. They stay on. They don't come off. They just just loosen them all the way, and they stay together with the thing. Now slide it like this. Slide it back, and this comes right off. Back panel. So in here we have the battery, the CD-ROM or optical drive. The RAM is under that cover there. So. All we do here is unscrew these two screws. You're using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Again, these screws don't come off as well. I like how they made that because I always lose screws. And then that comes right off and there you have your two times two gigs kit that usually comes with this model. So pull these pins on the side back. Take one at a time out. Now I recommend if you, to save yourself some money, put these on Kijiji or Craigslist. Get rid of them, probably, you know, get my 20, 30 bucks for them. That's what I'm asking for them. And then you take your new stick of RAM, the 8 gig or whatever you're putting in, and put it in the first slot here at the bottom. Don't push too hard, of course. Should just go in nice and easy. That's it. Then you put it back together. Back together. It's a very, very easy laptop to work on. Um, I would say you could do this yourself. You don't have to pay anybody to put this in, really. Just go buy the RAM and follow the instructions carefully. Just be very careful. And uh, you're good to go. Put the old uh, thing back in. And now I'm tempted to put the 2 gig in there and have 10 gigs of RAM. But. Uh, it doesn't need it, and I think that it won't really improve your performance. That's in my opinion. I've done it before, and it never really helps. So just slide this uh, case back in, pull it down, and screw the two screws back in tightly. You can see the eight gigs of RAM. It asked me to to do this thing over again. I know it's not going to do any difference. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, all it takes. Literally five minute job. You can do it yourself. Go buy the RAM, stick it in, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.